If you're in or interested in user experience design, here are two terms you should know. Affordances and signifiers. In short, affordances are the relationships between an object's attributes, whether physical or digital, and a person, mm -hmm. or I guess any living being, which suggests all possible actions that person could take. On the other hand, signifiers are perceptible indicators that point to what affordances that object has, like a, well, sign. Think about it like this. Let's say you are in a room and spot a chair. What would you do with it? Well, your first thought would be to sit in it, because a chair, of course, can afford sitting. However, you could also tip it over, roll it, or even throw it. These are all affordances. Now let's take a door. When you go to open a door, how do you know how to open it? Well, take a look at the handle. What is its shape? If it was flat like this, you would expect to push it. If it was a knob, twist and pull it. Without any kind of word or audio cue, you have an idea on how the door should be opened based on its physical attributes. Now a signifier, that would be the sign on the door that says push or pull. If we translate this to digital design, think of a button. Notice how it looks pushed up with the shading, almost like it can be pressed. That would be its affordance. However, the sound cues, animation, and text signify what to do and what is happening. Although both of these terms have been floating around in various fields, they were first introduced to UX design by Don Norman, one of the fathers of the field, in his book Design of Everyday Things, written in 1988 and considered one of the sacred texts for modern design. Uh, okay, technically affordances came first, and signifiers were introduced in a 2013 edition of the book because too many people were getting confused on what affordances were specifically, but I digress. Know any more examples of affordances or signifiers? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, like and follow for more UX tips similar to this one. Because...